so hello everyone welcome back to our video and our channel and in this video we are going to hack uh, the OS top 10 vulnerabilities uh, you can if you are daily user of the try hack me then you may know that uh, try hack me has launched a new challenge for OS top 10 vulnerabilities in this the try hack me will launch a new vulnerability every day and we have to uh, solve that vulnerability so the today's vulnerability is command injection sorry it is just injection in this there are different command injections so so in this video i'm gonna hack the same so for that i've already solved that machine and i'm really sorry for that if uh, there is any disturbance because i'm making this video in the morning time and there maybe you can feel some disturbance so i'm sorry for that and uh, I will try to make that video in the night from next time. So first of all, let's connect with our open VPN and here we are with the open VPN and we have already deployed our machine. So there is our IP address and there is a you can read this if you want to. So I'm just going to show you how to get these answers and how to hack this machine and for that uh, command uh, you need to know the basics of injection so injection is all that we can use to get the shell or uh, we can enter into the server so and type uh, use the server commands in our web browser or anything we have to interact with the server so in this in this uh, scenario we have a web page uh, named as evil shell so let's get started for that and okay let me see okay so we have connected the open VPN and it is not loaded yet uh, let's try it again so okay it is not opening i don't know why it is not opening again let's try problem and let's see if we have connected so here again problems okay i'm gonna pause this video and we'll back soon when the problem okay so now it is solved i saw that uh, the server is some having some problem to get started so here we have the evil shell dot php page when we go to this link and now we have to solve all these problems given here using the injection vulnerabilities and disabled shell is vulnerable with the injection vulnerabilities so let's get started so for the first question we have what strain text file is in the website root directory so for that we have just to check what inside ls and when we enter we get the css jepper.txt evil shell.php index.php and js so when we see all these files we can see that all the files is used somehow somehow used in the website development but it's jepper.txt is look like something strange and when we copy and paste this and this will be the correct answer so let's move to the second question how many non root services non daemon users are there so for that uh, we have to read our etc password file okay sorry so we have to read our password file so let me zoom if you are not able to see that so pas double s w t and you can see here let's move the paste source to view it in the better way let's zoom it again and here you can see the first user is the root user then there is demon the bin sys and you can see there is uh, if there was any user then it must be in the last so you can see there is all services available and no user so let me see in my machine if there is any user and let me show you how it looks like so for that we need to read our etc password file and you can see it here let me zoom it also you can see in the top there is a root user root at kali and this last user is kali you can see it here there is a user available with the ID number thousand and the root users ID number is zero. So in in the evil shell, uh, there is no such type of user. 
so we can type testing type by zero and we will get the correct answer okay so next question is what user is this app running as so for that we have to type the command who am i to know what user as we are running as so for when we type u m i then we will get the www data and here is the answer so moving to the next question we have next question is what is the user cell set as so for that we also move to the get etc password and when we will submit it let's again move to the page source and here we have when we see into the services services where here we can see a user has been no login user has been no login in every services and let's try copying this service and paste it here so and when we paste it we will get the answer and so now let's move to the next question what version of ubuntu is running on running so for that we will type the command lsp release dash a and when we'll press enter it will get our version machine version with this name so distributor id is ubuntu description ubuntu and here is the version of ubuntu we are running on so let's copy this version and paste it here and we can see that it is the correct answer so for that next moving to the next question we have the print out the mod d what favorite favorite beverage is shown so okay so let's see hint first so in hint we have a zero zero dash header so let's try the finding the mod d services and we will get the mod d services usually in the etc directory and when we will see etc ls with the grab mod d so this uh, command is using cd is change directory to etc and semicolon is used to run two commands at a time and when we use the ls and then the pipe symbol with the grab mod d is used to find the directory or the service with the mod d okay and uh, when we press enter it will get our it will show us all the directories and the files with the which contain the mod d in their name so press enter and we will have update mod d dot d and when we will copy this let's move inside this directory and uh, press and let's see what's inside this and it's inside this we have a zero zero header which uh, we will see we have seen in the hint so let's see what's inside this again cat etc update mod d d and move to zero zero sorry zero zero header press enter and we will see here the something written on it and we have to find the favorite beverage as shown here so in the whole text we have the only beverage which is dr pepper here and so we will try this by copy and paste this and the correct answer is this so next vulnerability is the broken authentication and we will see that in the next video uh, hopefully and this is the this will be tomorrow so be ready for that and thank you for watching this video thank you for watching this video and see you soon thank you